this channel before it is so good to see you again on this channel we share shopping hauls create budget-friendly DIYs and home decor today's video is part one of a two-part series featuring beautiful pumpkins that you can use for your fall decor for Halloween and through Thanksgiving so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Comment, share, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video and you don't miss out on any of the upcoming holiday fun. Now, let me show you how I made these beautiful pumpkins and how you can make them too. And don't forget to stay tuned, look out, and watch for part two in this pumpkin spice series. All right, come on, let me show you these pumpkins I made. They're gorgeous, you're gonna love them, and you're gonna wanna make them too. Come on, let's go. For the first pumpkin, you're going to need one carvable foam pumpkin, one scarf, any pattern. I chose the black and orange buffalo check, an assortment of leaves and florals, assorted ribbon, in coordinating colors, green mesh, jute twine, green paint, and a tube from an empty roll of ribbon. I removed the stem from the pumpkin and using my utility knife, I cut out a hole the size of the tube. After making sure the tube fit, I cut it down to size. I painted three quarters of the tube using two coats of the Waverly chalk paint in the color moss. I cut the seam of the infinity scarf, putting one end of the scarf into the hole at the top of the pumpkin. I wrapped the pumpkin with the scarf, bringing it under and around to the other side of the pumpkin and I pushed some of the scarf into the hole of the pumpkin and continued to wrap the scarf around the opposite sides of the pumpkin. Once I had the whole pumpkin wrapped, then I pushed the rest of the scarf into the hole of the pumpkin. Here I'm gluing down the sides of the scarf, making sure that the seams at the bottom are as flat as possible. I'm rolling the tube in the green mesh to give the pumpkin stem some texture. I rolled the tube around three times to add some depth to the color. I 
I felt that the stem was still a little bit too long, so I cut off about an inch and a half, and then I glued it into place. I used jute string to create grooves all around the pumpkin. I also added some fall leaves. For the bow, I used three strands of ribbon making three three inch loops on each side. Once I had the three loops, I secured it in the middle with a piece of wire. I used the piece of the Harvest Gold Ribbon to give it that finished look. I cut off the excess ribbon and glued the bow to the front of the pumpkin. Don't forget to fluff out your bow. I added some hydrangea petals to the center of the bow and some white berries on the sides of the stem. And here it is, pumpkin number one. Isn't it lovely? This pumpkin will take you through Halloween's giving. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you don't miss part two of my pumpkin spice series. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!